I know you don't need any edit motivation, but I'm talking about what they went through, losing to them, and wanting a little bit of no, a payback. No, 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 no talks like that. You know, um, <clears throat> you would think that it would be talks like that. Talking about payback, you know, just payback that, but for the most part, guys just come in here and work hard, you know? I mean, obviously we had a long, long layoff, so we had time to think about, you know, what happened in OA, but for the most part, you know, Oklahoma was, was tough. Uh, you know, so we was more worried about Oklahoma than Utah was tough too. Even though we got the sweep, that was tough. Then Phoenix was pretty tough. You know, so we was more worried about you know those games. You got to take care of that first. Then you can move on. You know, uh, Boston was waiting for us. You know, they was the first team to make it to the championship. So um, you know, it was really they, they was already waiting. You know, so it's really nothing else. You know, to get you know, motivated about it's already there. The motivation is, is already there. You know, Ron, when you when you came here, this is the reason why you came to the Lakers. To to, to be in the championship, so it's all on the line right now for you. You know, uh, I said that when I first came here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that if they didn't win the championship, to blame you. You know, um, but I did say that, and it's great. It's great that you know I came here to be involved in what's going on right now. You know, um, and tomorrow it, it'll be back basketball, but today is like more of an activity. You know, with all the media, and it's great. It's crazy that a lot of media came from all over. You get a chance to get coverage all over the world and all that stuff. And then tomorrow we get a chance to play some ball. Do you, have, do you think there's a little more burden on your shoulders, though, because of you coming here for this? It's up to you. What do you think? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Uh, cool. Well, Ryan, 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 you have a pretty good history with Pierce. You know, going back to what kind of history? Good. What do you mean? Good. Well, a little rough and tumble. You guys have gone head to head. Rough and tumble is not good. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you look at it? Huh? How do you look at it? Well, it's been physical at times. Oh, okay. You guys have been in the playoffs tonight. Yeah, I think we played against each other twice in the playoffs. I think um, the one year they beat us. Indiana, the next year I think we beat them. But I think we had a lot of games when I was in um, Indiana, I guess. Uh, we played a lot of games against each other. But, you know, he always said he enjoyed playing against me. You know, not too many people enjoy playing against me because, of, you know, I'm real physical. You know, Pierce is one of the guys that enjoyed it. Did you, did you enjoy it? I mean, I can't remember, but I enjoy playing against everybody. You know, um, I enjoy playing against everybody, you know, from the best player in the NBA to the worst player, from a LeBron James to a John Craddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love John Craddy. He's a good player. Ron, you, uh, this is the second really high profile forward that you've guarded over the course of the playoffs. Can you just talk about the difference between you know, guarding Durant and guarding Pierce? Well, Durant, obviously the number one scorer in the league, and he was a real tough cover for me. You know, I thought I was never going to wake up from that nightmare. Finally, <laughs> game six came, and that nightmare was over. But I enjoyed playing against Durant, you know, um, top scorer in the league, huh? And uh, I don't know what I held him shooting percentage-wise. I know a lot of people was jumping on his bandwagon when he hit a jump shot in my face or something, but, you know, I just stayed focused, stayed with it. And, um, not taking anything away from him, but I think he shot a real low percentage. You know, although he averaged a couple points, we had to take a lot of shots to get those points. So I was real, um, when I did that job, I was like, all my other jobs is going to be, you know, it's not going to be as difficult. But then you get a Utah who play, play as a team. So now there's no more individual round tests versus whoever. You know, uh, it's more um, Lakers versus uh, Jazz. And then we get, um, you know, the Suns, and I think uh, Richardson was averaging 22 points or something like that. I don't know how much he averaged when he played against us. Um, no, nothing to take away from his game. But that's been the story of my whole career. I'm always, every time somebody is doing great, and they jump on the bandwagon, the commentators and everything, then it kind of changes when I'm there. So this is what happens. What's the, what's the challenge with Pierce? Pierce is a vet. You know, um, I know if I was 30, which I am now, and he was younger, you know, it'll be things I could do probably, you know. Use my experience, but he's a vet. He's 35, 34, and um, he knows how to play. You know, um, still moving well. He didn't lose a step. I respect that. I respect that he didn't lose a step. I respect, you know, that he's really, that he's still quick and he's still able to attack. He got a couple dunks in the series, so he, his legs are still there. So I totally, 100% respect his game.